How do you know if you're building a product that meets the needs of your users? Enter user research, more specifically, user journey maps. In this video, we'll review how you can use FigJam to find user journey map templates, use tools like connectors, stamps, and stickies to visualize the user experience, and host collaborative meetings using audio chat. Let's get started. The team at Habits, a habit tracking app, is putting together their quarterly roadmap and want to make sure they include some objectives that address customer priorities. They've decided to use FigJam to create a user journey map. A user journey map is a visual representation of a user's experience with your product. It includes things like what actions they take, their goals and experiences, what emotions they feel, and what pain points they may encounter. This is a great way to get stakeholders from different teams to align on opportunities and initiatives. While the team could always build a FigJam board from scratch, using a template is a great way to get up and running quickly. To browse existing templates, click the Templates icon in the top left corner of the file. You can browse through available categories or search for a specific term in the search bar. For this exercise, let's search for User Journey Map. We can add the template to the board by hovering over the thumbnail and clicking Add Template. This template comes with a helpful guide on how to use it and also includes some quick tips on using FigJam features like sticky notes, shapes, and move and zoom. This way, anyone new to FigJam can still participate. Once you've read through these tips, you can select and delete the sections. We should take a moment to mention user journey maps may require some pre-work before everyone begins the exercise. For example, you may want to fill out the user persona section ahead of time, or some teams may have a predefined set of user actions. You might want your team to focus on a set of user pain points that have already been collected and added to the board before everyone joins. Preparing your user journey map as much as possible before beginning the exercise can help save time and keep everyone on task when it matters most. Let's make sure that this template is customized to the specific needs of the Habits team. First, let's fill out the user persona. To replace the image, select the placeholder, click Replace Image in the toolbar, and then select a new image file from your computer. You can also paste an image from your clipboard. We'll also update the text in the User Profile section to reflect the targeted user persona. You can add links to text by highlighting the text and clicking the link icon or using the keyboard shortcut. Next, we need to edit Journey Steps to match the habit's user journey. Our journey steps are discovery, download, onboarding, retention, and advocacy. If you want to save this customized version of the board for future use, you can duplicate this file, edit the file's name from the top toolbar to show that it's a template, and publish it as a team template from the share button. Click the Publish tab, then follow the steps to publish as a template. Now that our board is ready, let's invite our collaborators to join the file so we can start filling it out together. Click the Share button to invite team members to the exercise. You can invite them via email or click Copy Link and share it with them directly. Make sure you set the permissions to anyone with the link can edit so your teammates can add their own thoughts and ideas to the map. Once everyone is here, we can start an audio chat and talk through the exercise together. To start a chat, click the headphones icon in the toolbar at the top of the page. To hop on a call, your teammates can click the Join button. Let's set a timer and play some music to keep everyone on track during our exercise. The team is ready to start filling out the board with sticky notes. To add stickies, click and drag a sticky note from the toolbar, or press S and click to place it on the board. We'll start by adding our thoughts to the user actions and goals and experiences sections of the board. We want to show how these user actions are sequential. So let's connect each sticky in this row with an arrow connector. You can add connectors between existing objects by clicking the connector tool in the toolbar or by pressing X and then clicking and dragging from one side of an object to another object on the board. 
Select the connector and use the toolbar to customize the connector color, line style, line shape, and endpoint types. For the feelings and thoughts section, we want to visually show how our users are feeling throughout their app experience without relying on text. We can quickly copy and paste one of the emojis from the row header by selecting the emoji and then using the keyboard shortcuts. If we want to be a bit more expressive than these emojis, we can also use stickers. To add stickers to your board, hover over the stack of icons in the bottom toolbar. Click More, then click the Stickers tab. Search for a keyword, then add the sticker to the board. To keep everyone on the same page, you may want to provide meaningful customer quotes that illustrate what sentiment each emoji or sticker represents. This can be done ahead of the exercise. As everyone is filling out the rest of the map, you can give quick reactions to thoughts, pain points, and opportunities others in the file have mentioned. One way to do this is with stamps. To add a stamp, click the Stamp button in the bottom toolbar or press E on your keyboard to open the stamp wheel. From the stamp wheel, you can switch between stamps and emotes. Select your desired stamp from the wheel, then click to place it on the board. Together, the Habits team is able to paint a full picture of the user journey experience in their app. Even better, the team has used stickies to identify several opportunities they can focus on next quarter. To decide which learnings to prioritize and act on, you can run a quick voting session. Click the Timer, Voting, and Music icon in the toolbar, and then click New Vote. Use the buttons to set how many votes each person is allowed, and then enter a description. For this exercise, we're asking the team to pick their top three items to be prioritized next quarter. Click Start and set a new timer. Votes are anonymous until you click End for All. Now that the voting is done, the team wants to turn these opportunities into actionable tasks. You can create tasks directly in FigJam using a task management widget like Jira, Coda, or Asana. To find these widgets, hover over the stack of icons in the bottom toolbar and click More. Then select the Widgets tab. Find the widget you want to use, and then create a brand new task or make one from an existing sticky note. This is just one way teams can use FigJam for user research. Let us know in the comments how your team uses FigJam. For more inspiration, check out the Figma community, linked in the description below. And be sure to like and subscribe for the latest product news. We'll see you in the next one.